Hey everybody, so back with another video of uh, CD pickups from this past summer. Um, had crazy good luck at Goodwill, some people donated some really large collections, so I believe these, I've got two bags here, I believe these are all things I picked up at, at Goodwill, um, a couple different Goodwills here in town. One of them had a huge collection, probably 200 CDs someone had donated, and I think I got the... Um, first pick on most of the stuff, although I'd gone back at lunch one day, um, or the day that the, the collection came out, and someone beat me to the punch when they put the kind of second round out, and he had some really nice stuff, it looked like, probably about 30 CDs himself, but uh, I still managed to pick up a few that day, and then went back again, and uh, that night, and picked up a whole bunch more, so uh, these are all, I believe, all Goodwill CDs here. So jumping right in, uh, Squeeze singles 45s and under I guess a collection of uh, singles by the band squeeze makes sense uh, squeeze uh, around and about looks like a live recording here Jethro Tull Aqualung Blind Faith uh, self-titled album it looks like Morrissey, Vauxhall, and I. Nat King Cole sings for two in love and more. So Capitol Records uh, reissue here, I think with some bonus tracks. Talking Heads, Just Head. Um, yeah. Can't remember what the deal was, I think maybe... Uh, David Byrne was out of the band at this point, and they brought in some different singers to record these tracks with the band. It says, produced by the heads, Chris France, uh, Jerry Harrison, Tina Weymouth. So I think maybe that's all who was left from the band. Uh, looks like Ravi Shankar, uh, Master of Sitar. Compilation here. On... No label that is. Don't have my glasses with me. Frank Zappa. Um, Overnight Sensation. Reiko Disc uh, reissue here. Uh, Joni Mitchell Blue. I've got the uh, got the insert in upside down. Um, Soundgarden, Down on the Upside. Wilco, Being There. Van Morrison, Super Hits. From Columbia Records, nice compilation. Uh, Nirvana, Insecticide. So a lot of these probably won't be staying in the collection. Um, picked up a lot of these just thinking I'd maybe trade them with someone or, or trade them in at the record store and get some store credit. But I don't know, I might hang on to these for a while. Uh, this one I was kind of excited about. This is the Trojan Ru Rude Boy box set. So 50 tracks on three CDs. Whoa. So yeah, it's got three, three little kind of slipcase uh, CDs here. Nice collection. Uh, Aretha's best, Aretha Franklin, the late beloved Aretha Franklin. Kind of a cool uh, slipcase design on this one. Looks almost like a greeting card here. From Atlantic Records and Rhino. Uh, Eddie Clearwater, Blues Hangout. And this is on the Evidence label. Oh, this one's going to need a new jewel case, obviously. Stevie Ray Vaughan in Double Trouble, Texas Flood. Uh, 
Stevie Ray Vaughan and Double Trouble, Soul to Soul, with three bonus tracks from Columbia Legacy. Uh, again, Stevie Ray Vaughan and Double Trouble, Live Alive, two records set on one CD. And this one's got the uh, the Smoking CDs uh, price sticker. I'm not sure where Smoking CDs was. Not familiar with that store. Uh, Elton John, Greatest Hits. Um, <laughs> another copy of uh, Squeeze Singles, 45s and under. Um, what is this? Okay, this one's just the CD. Uh, couldn't find the rest of the packaging, but this is Return. Of the Son of Shut Up and Play Your Guitar from Frank Zappa on Ryko, Ryko Disc Records here. Right? Yeah. Uh, Eric Clapton, Behind the Sun, produced by Phil Collins. Kind of interesting. Curtis Mayfield, New World Order. Don Henley, Building the Perfect Beast. It was a huge album when I was uh, a youngster. Clapton, Unplugged. Um, yeah, this one's probably not going to be staying in the collection. I'm not a huge, huge Eric Clapton fan, but I figured uh, some kind of stuff I could trade in. Bruce Springsteen, Magic. Cheap Trick, one-on-one. -on -one. Look at that. Remember when used CDs were $12.99? These are the days to be picking up used CDs for $0.30 cents a piece. $13. Bucks. Forget it. Don Henley, The End of the Innocents. Alright, so that was, I believe, all Goodwill stuff. Um... Let's see, this one on the top of the pile, this is actually from the uh, Second and Charles Free Bin. Not something I'd normally pick up or pay for. Um, good music, but I'm not, uh, it's not really my thing. Adele, live at the Royal Albert Hall. So there's a two disc set, uh, the DVD and the CD. And I'm going to pass that up from the Free Bin. Uh, there was also a, a Taylor Swift CD in there, but I don't know whatever happened to that one. Kind of cool packaging. I like the way they put the two discs in there. Uh, Bob Dylan, John Wesley Harding. Massive Attack Protection. Uh, Steve Douglas, Music of Cheops. Kind of some new agey type stuff. It's alright. Um, Sort of like, uh, what's that album called? Inside the Pyramid or Inside by Paul Horn. Same idea. Uh, the Mars Volta Tremulant EP. Another one from the Mars Volta. This is, jeez, uh, I can't read the title here. Deloused in the Comatorium. Comatorium. Interesting stuff. All right. Like I said, just picked up a ton of CDs uh, since they were so cheap. Ted Nugent, out of control. Yes, you are out of control, Ted. Um, don't agree with anything he believes in politically, but I can still appreciate his music. I think maybe. Who knows? I'll probably trade this out. I'm not a big fan, obviously. Um. Masters of Metal, Volume 1, Wreaking Havoc, 1975 to 85, from Warner Special Products. So we got bands like Rush, Foreigner, Alice Cooper, Triumph, Foghat, April Wine, Crocus, Accept, Nazareth, Ted Nugent, Dio, and Ozzy Osbourne. Not sure I'd really call these guys Masters of Metal, more like hard rock. Skid Row, Slave to the Grind. 
Uh, three CDs here that were part of a, uh, I believe, a box set here of uh, Journey, the band Journey. Uh, I think it was called Time or Time Cubed or something. But anyway, here's CD one, CD two, a little Journey bug, whatever that thing is. Time three. Uh, just the CDs. There was no box or anything. Someone probably lost the box soon after they bought the box set or whatever. Uh, Rage Against the Machine. Um, Self-titled, I believe. What else? Uh, Corner Shop. Kind of some interesting, uh, I think like sort of electronic music. I don't know, with an Indian twist. Oh, uh, here's that Taylor Swift I was talking about from the Free Bennett Second and Charles, 1989. Uh, deluxe edition. I've got about five copies, I think, in the store in Second and Charles of these. They decided to just throw this one in the Free Bin, I guess. Or someone maybe tried to sell it and they didn't want it, so they threw it in the Free Bin. But it's got some, uh, some bonus tracks. Uh, Yeah, three bonus tracks, some little cool packaging. I appreciate the packaging. A little thing of uh, fake Polaroid pictures here. Weird. When you're a big star these days, you get to do cool packaging like this. Uh, the labels do spend some money on uh, cool packaging on the big artists. Bob Dylan, the times they are a changing. A change in. Bob Dylan, Planet Waves. Jeff Tate, the uh, singer for the band Queensryche. Uh, I guess solo CD here. Can I pick up a title on this? I don't know if it has a title. It might just be called Jeff Tate. Uh, soft Cell, Non-Stop Erotic Cabaret, Digitally Remastered. Of course, it's got the big smash hit Tainted Love on here. Uh, MF Doom. Mmm, food. It's really cool, kind of experimental hip hop. I actually like this one. I'll probably stay in the collection. Uh, Tone Casualties Music for the Next Century. This was a label started by. Uh, one of the guys from the Klasky Chupo uh, animation group. They did the original version of The Simpsons and the Tracy Ullman show, I believe, and uh, I think maybe Rugrats. Uh, but the guys started, uh, at least one of them, a record label, or two of them, Casual Tonalities and Tone Casualties. So I think this is uh, Tone Casualties, which is more of the uh, electronic experimental music. There's a track by Holger Chuke on here. Um, don't really see any other names. Or Paul Schutze. Schutz. Dead Hearts. Um, didn't really like this one that much. Um, I've got most of Paul Schutz's uh, stuff on CD already. Uh, the Holger Chuke or Chuke track was all right. Pat Metheny Selected Recordings, ECM, uh, Rarum set here. Uh, I've never really gotten into Pat Metheny. There's uh, one CD he did, maybe one of his first, with uh, Jaco Pastorius on bass, which I really like. But the rest of his stuff is just kind of kind of boring. I don't know. It's kind of like a lot of Bill Frizzell's work. It's, it's nice, but it just doesn't, doesn't move me. Danger Doom, uh, I guess this is a collaboration between uh, Danger Mouse and uh, MF Doom. Is that right? I don't know. Interesting. Experimental hip hop kind of stuff. Arcade Fire, The Suburbs. Nice little uh, kind of paper sleeve style gatefold. Very nice. Def Leppard, Adrenalize. Uh, 
you know what that one is, Bob Marley Legend. Everybody should know that one. Uh, Grateful Dead Shakedown Street. Stevie Ray Vaughan in Double Trouble Greatest Hits. It's amazing, you can pick up a full collection of an artist near the Goodwill if you just keep going back and uh, grabbing them cheap CDs. Andy Summers, The Last Dance of Mr. X. Uh, I really wanted to like this one. Uh, it features Tony Levin on bass, Greg Bissonette on drums. Uh, Tony Levin, of course, played with uh, Peter Gabriel, King Crimson. Um, Greg Bissonette, uh, famous, I think, for playing in uh, David Lee Roth's band. Um, excellent drummer, but music just doesn't really, it's not that exciting. Um, at least I, not on first listen, unfortunately. I guess I'll give it another shot. Warren Zevon, Learning to Flinch. I haven't really listened to most of these, uh, Probably a lot of them I won't. Um, I'll just take them and trade them or something like that. I just have too many CDs. I don't have room for all these things. Uh, I'm not going to pass them up when they're this cheap. Buddy Guy Slipping In. Looks like on the. I don't know what label is on. Looks like it's got a fake Blue Note logo. <laughs> oh, a fake little Blue Note logo down there. I don't know if you can see that. That's obviously not on Blue Note Records. That's really weird, but it's got the little Blue Note uh, musical symbol logo, looks like. Uh, Michael Kwanuka. Is that right? Michael Kiwanuka, Home Again. On Polydor Records. Not familiar with him. It's kind of a neat little uh, gatefold. Sort of mini LP style jacket here. Interesting looking. Uh, some Senegalese, West African drumming music here. Live Sogoni Djembe Festival 2001. It's all right. Um, listen to that a few times. Lokasa Yambongo. More looks like African music here, I believe. Uh, Wolfgang Downer, Downer. Actually, this isn't from a thrift shop. This is one I was just getting rid of, uh, planning to get rid of. Uh, pick this one up. I think at the record store here in town. I recognize his name. This is some very new agey type stuff, and just didn't really move me that well. I think some of his earlier stuff is more interesting. But that's not really uh, from the Goodwill batch here. And finally, uh, Keb Mo, Slow Down. So this is kind of some, I believe, blues music here. So yeah, that's a whole mess of CDs there from uh, Goodwill. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with most of these. Uh, I have been going through and pulling some out to trade in at the record store in town. They give like a dollar uh, store credit. They sell the CDs for three bucks. They give a dollar store credit and it's something they can sell. Uh, most of these, it's kind of the criteria I used for stuff I didn't really want for myself, but um, if I thought something that the store could sell, I'd pick it up, trade in, get some store credit and buy some, some vinyl or CD stuff I was more interested in. But uh, yeah, just uh, crazy good luck. Um, uh, okay, so that's uh, that's it, and I'll see you in the next video, whenever that may be. Bye, guys.